Hey everyone and welcome back to Studio 3B. Today I wanted to talk to you about backing up to the cloud and the solution that I chose is to use iDrive. It's a backup cloud solution. When I was searching for backup solutions, I found that this is highly reviewed and highly rated. So I decided to give it a try. I think for the first year it was like less than $10 for 10 terabytes. The convenience and the features of this backup solution is quite remarkable and I just wanted to go through some of the ways I use iDrive at this time. As you can see here, I'm on my Hackintosh and I've installed the iDrive client and I've selected all my profile folders that I wanna back up. So I exclude all the application directories and things like that, but back up all the data. If you go to the web interface by clicking this, let me sign in, sign in like this. You can see that I have, uh, all my computers are backed up here. I have up to, according to this, I have 6.7 terabytes backed up. Majority of that is my server. I backed up all my movies and music and that took up the majority of the space. But the nice thing about it is, you know, even though I have a server with RAID configuration and, you know, everything's kind of redundant that way with RAID 1, you know, if something happened to that server or something fried it, I would lose all that effort I put into creating all that music and ripping all that, uh, all the movies and, and music that I have on that server. So uh, my Plex data is on there and my runes installation, all the, all the music and everything like that. So, um, it didn't even take that long to back up consider how much data was backed up. The server was churning for about three to four days, I think, and it got about six terabytes of data uploaded. So speed wise, I would say that's pretty darn fast. Um, my server was, uh, the fans were spinning pretty hard for those days and uh, it was working. I had it throttled at 95%. 100 was a little bit too much for that server. It was uh, the, the fans I felt like were gonna spin right out of the machine. 95%, I let it, let it run for a few days and now it's 100% backed up. I have the client on my phone and the nice thing about this is, uh, you could use um, iCloud, which most people do, but this solution is not nice. It integrates with everything else that you have backed up. It even gives you a timeline for all your photos. If you go to more timeline, it'll show all your photos that you've taken in like a camera roll type view. And then this is my Windows box. So this is all on the same machine. I just have three different operating system installations. I have a Windows installation, uh, a Mac installation, and I have uh, a Linux installation. So I've recently uh, gone back to Linux and installed Gen 2 Linux. Uh, and this is my backup of that. And actually, since I purchased the subscription, they seem to have came up with an upgrade because now I could drive everything from the browser. I don't have to go to the client installation. So even for Linux, as long as I've installed the scripts and I've, I've configured it locally, I can just come on here if my if my machine is up, I can come up here to dashboard computers. I can see which computers are online. As you can see, I'm on the Mac and I have my server up. These are the other two operating systems on this uh, Hackintosh computer that the Gen 2 and the Windows. Um, as you can see, the backup status has been successful. But if I wanted to kick off a backup, I can come right to the browser. I don't have to go to the computer itself and I can just say start backup immediately and there's a cron job and everything installed there. So I could just drive everything from, from here. I could also schedule, and I already have it nightly scheduled. We could schedule everything right from the browser. You could even restore from the browser. Uh, there's a ton of settings. Um, you can have it automatically update your software, you know, the iDrive scripts and things like that. And uh, you know, there's log files available so you could just see how things went the last time they, they rolled. So that's what it comes down to for computer backups. And the nice thing, nicest thing I love about this is just that you can access everything from the browser. There's also sync and cloud storage, which works a lot like a Dropbox or Google Drive type thing, where you could have a shared folder that you could synchronize to each computer that you use. So this is just an experiment that I did, but uh, these are a bunch of fo photos that I put up here they're also included in my computer backup. So I'm, I'm not sure what I'm gonna use this folder for yet, but if you wanted to sync files across each one of your computers, you could drop them into this folder and they'll be synced 
that way. So this is a really cool backup solution and the price for the first year is unbeatable. So I thought I'd give it a try. And uh, let's go take a look at the other operating systems. Hey everyone, so this is Gen2 Linux and basically I just downloaded these scripts from a GitHub repository. And if you look at the scripts, you'll see that they're Perl scripts. So there's uh, dependencies on some third party uh, Perl script libraries that I had to install using eMerge. Um, they do get installed automatically as you're uh, running this first script the first time on standard Linux installations such as Debian and Red Hat based installations but uh, Gen 2 is everything is compiled so I had to run these manually but the uh, scripts are pretty nice and easy to use although not as pretty as the GUIs that you get on Windows and Mac but all you have to do is run the scripts once you know log in the first time you run it it'll give you a bunch of questions that you would answer such as where do you want to back up your directories and um, after you you do that once you could just go back in here and edit your configuration everything's available here uh, the nice thing about it is once you configure it you don't have to use these scripts too much any longer everything is accessible from the web so you just come to here and you can see that you want to um, go to your computer and start backup immediately you can even schedule the backups like this so they run just fine on Linux and you can have nightly uh, cron job schedulers right here. So let's scoot on over to Windows and take a look at that interface. Okay, everyone, I uh, switched over to my Windows installation. And as you can see, it's much like Mac in, sen in the sense that you have uh, a desktop application to interact with. And you could just simply choose what files and folders you want to back up. And there you go. You have backup now in schedule. And there you can back up uh, as you wish or on schedule. If you like this video, please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye.